Hi everyone, Rachel Cox here. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Today, as you see by the title, we are doing Numbers Pick My Makeup Challenge. So I have numbers in a cup. I'm sure you guys have seen all around, like Alyssa Ashley has done this before, um, Nikki Tutorials, um, but you basically pick three or how many you want to, but today I'm gonna pick just three numbers and those numbers are gonna be deciding which colors I use. Not from the James Charles palette. We are not using that palette today, as I literally have in almost every video. Today, we are using the brand new Alyssa Edwards palette. This palette is so pretty. If you guys want an in-depth review, it, let me know, but there's plenty out there. But these colors are so pretty. And the back, always forever. Like, Anastasia, it's a matte finish, and it's literally so beautiful. The colors pop. Um, and as we get into the video, I'll tell you um, some more of my thoughts on it. So if you guys want to see numbers, choose my makeup tutorial, keep on watching. If you see my latest videos, I have been using the Jeffree Star White Concealer as my eyeshadow base. Just makes things pop because it's white. Even if you don't use the Jeffree Star, if you use like the ColourPop one for only $6, the white is just going to make the shadows really pop. Alright, so we're nice and primed. I wanted to bring you guys even closer so you guys can get a good look at what we're dealing with. So, um, this palette has um, 14 shades in it, and most are matte, which I love. And so, um, I have 14 numbers, of course, on um, this cup I have here. And, yes, let's do this, honeys. Low-key, like, scared, but, like, in a good way. So, here we go. Let me mix them first. Okay, so, we have one. Thank the Lord. So, the first number we have is number one. Second number, 12. And number two. The first shade we have is the white called Headliner. For our second shade we'll be going in with, we have Inspire, which is this gold shade. And the final number, number 12, Beyond. Literally working with all shimmers. I kind of want to draw one more. I need a matte. I need a mat. I want to like draw another card. I said three numbers. We're going to stick with three numbers. Oh god. I don't know how this is going to look, but we're going to try. So since I'm only using shimmers, <laughs> I only need this for the white and then this packer brush. I guess I wanna, if I want to like blend them, I guess I should take like this one. Oh. <laughs> oh, and I was looking forward to this. Just kidding. It's fine. Um, I got the white shade um, that we can use for on the three shades. I'm going to pack this on because traditionally you have your crease shade, so that's one shade. Then you have a deepening shade and then you have your shimmer shade. So technically you only use three for the average person. But I like to go with many eyeshadows. At least it's going to be an easy look. So I'm again, I'm just packing headliner, which is the white. I'm just gonna um, pack the white everywhere actually. I was gonna, well, not too much though, but just to set so the, the base like doesn't crease. Cause I had a problem with that the other day, it creased. So Inspire, I feel like since it's a gold shade, it should be in the inner corner. Um, so why not start with that? And it's so pretty. And since we only have like two other eyeshadows, <laughs> I'm literally just gonna like, Bring it all the way up. And I love doing like a cut crease look when it's you're actually not setting it with concealer. You just use like a really like dense brush. We're going all the way up, all the way up. But it's kind of cool seeing like 
it's kind of like saying like what luck you have and what you're gonna draw that day so yeah i'm stuck with shimmers i prefer matte look so yes we have a gold shade so now the last step this could probably be the easiest tutorial ever done to not cause cross contaminate brushes i'm gonna go so i was just using this um morphe brush um the E19, it's really nice for packing on shades and like getting that carved out look. Um, and so um, I did that. So now I'm gonna switch between a blending brush and then this Morphe M508 brush. So I don't cross to contaminate and I might need to blend the pink shade out with um, this other Morphe brush, the M433. And I am, I'm planning on going to the mall with friends. Hopefully it works out. But, um, and then I'm going into Beyond. I've never actually, actually, I think I have dipped into Beyond. They, like, like most of the, like all the other Anastasia palettes, except I don't know if the Soft Glam does, but all of them literally, like, um, when you tap into it, they like, like there's all this dust, but with this palette, um, there's like no dust that flies around, which is really nice. It's really pigmented, like, look at that. But some shades, you just have to build up. But they're so nice shadows. And again, let me know if you want, um, if anyone wants a um, in-depth review. I'm basically telling you guys all my thoughts right now. While I'm packing this on, I hope you guys enjoyed the previous video I did with Lexi. It was so fun. We were goofy at midnight. But again, I'm just using that on the outer edge. Watch me get looks at them all. Or the Sephora employees judge me. I did this for a challenge. Okay, so then um, I'm gonna lightly dip into Beyond again. I'm gonna attempt to blend it. It's not a matte, but should hopefully blend at least. Ooh, ooh, I'm actually blending a shimmer. It's like they're like pressed in shimmers, but like. But it's when a shimmer actually blends, like, yes, honey. actually kind of cute let me see how it looks on camera Ooh, yeah kind of cute I really like being like close up to the camera though so you guys can see. I do take my I am have been taking my shadows up lately. Um Nikki Tutorials has inspired me too. Because my eyes like can, are kind of small. They look bigger though because like I have them all like nice and threaded, but they're kind of small and they're kind of hooded or like drooped down. So I like to take my shadows like higher up than usual. So you can really see what's going on in the eye look and um it makes my eyes look even bigger than they are, which is nice. Yes, honey, work. It almost looks like, I don't know. It, like it's blending like it's not a shimmer, which I don't mind. It doesn't look too bad. But I'm gonna put some um, gold, some Inspire. I love the names too, they're really cool and unique. I'm gonna take that pink a little bit higher to blend with that brow bone shape. Doesn't look bad on camera. In person, it's like meh. But yeah, we have our simple eye. So I'm gonna do the other eye off camera. Um, apply some lashes. I don't know which ones yet. Um, and then I'll speed through my face because I like showing a little foundation around. And we'll be back. All right, everyone, we're back. I finished this look, the eyes. 
Um, and these are the lashes. If you're wondering what these lashes are, they're called um, Seductress um, by Morphe. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I won Zachary Vang's giveaway. And um, I got these lashes. Pretty nice. Not my favorite. They're not really fluffy, but they go, they wisp out. Mm. They're kind of pretty. Huh, this is the look. Now, let's step into the face. All right, guys, this is the completed look. Picking numbers from a jar and only using three shadows to create this look based on what we picked from uh, the cup. Thank you guys so much for watching. What do you think of this look? I went ham with the face, and I'm freaking obsessed. I think this is going to be my everyday routine. Like, look how buttery I look. Like, honey, yes. Um, um, yes. Um, if you guys enjoyed, again, um, please subscribe. Only if you want to. I don't ever want to seem like i'm forcing you to um and please comment uh what you think about this look um if you want me to do any challenges like this um and stay tuned for more on this channel bye guys